Yeah, I am. I am angry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed. It's just a, a really appalling decision to swing the game. Like I've, I've viewed it back on the on the screen and, and uh, um, the shot has gone wide, it's not even going, it's not, Gary Rogers has it covered, there's no there's no threat, the shot is, is there's no way that it's going there, you know it's going to end up in the, in the back of the net. So again Andy Boyle has tried to he's trying to himself at it, to try to block it, the, the brave defender that he is. And you know the rules of the game, when I've had the referee the head of the referees in to discuss the rules of the game, discuss handball. We've, discussed, we've had him in to discuss that with the with the rest of the players and at private meetings and what, what what's legitimate handballs and what isn't. And his hand is not in a, in a natural position. His, his, hand, his arm is close to his body, so it's certainly not a penalty. I mean, the historical context of football in Ireland and the importance of this game, the ramifications, to give a penalty like that was hugely disappointing and hard to believe. And it's a really, really poor decision. Steve, what are your views overall of the official performance like the data and the protection No, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not really an overall criticism. I was disappointed that Stephen Long got booked for his first tackle when when there was an insistent foul against Dave McMillan. We drew him out next week, you know, we drew him out next week, you know, it's disappointing. Uh, but I've no problem with the overall referee. The referee um, I've no problem with his officiating the game itself. <laughs> You know, to be honest, but I just feel that you can't make a whimsical decision based on, you know, the possibility. You know, you can't be sure of anything. Um, there is speculation in the lines, but again, I, I don't know. But certainly, uh, in, in the laws, if you, if you understand the laws of the game, and we've scrutinised what is handballs, what, ha what what isn't handballs, with we've had um, John Ward, the head of the referees in Ireland. You know, we've had a seminar with him, with all the players in the private discussions on what, what we can do and what we can't do. And that clearly is not how, uh, against the rules in terms of that is not a penalty kick and I'm very disappointed that. Yesterday you kind of touched on the fact that they want the bigger clubs in these kind of competitions and these don't tend to favour the smaller clubs. Did you feel in a lot of ways you're on the wrong end of those calls tonight? I, I don't know. Like as I said already, overall I wasn't... I can't complain overall with the, the general uh, decision, you know, I, I don't, with the general refereeing of the game. I think I don't want to, you know, I want to be, I want to be forthright, but I want to be sincere. And, uh, but that, 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 that moment just shifted the game in a huge way. And uh, we were, I thought we were a better team up to that. Um, I don't think there's no way we deserve to lose that game too now tonight. And I think uh, we showed the, showed our overall quality in the game. I think after the, the goal really knocked us for that 15 minute period we were under pressure after that. Um, psychologically it had a, a huge impact on the game itself. Um, but we regained that composure and then believed again we, you know, it looked like we were putting under pressure. Um, you know, we had a claim for a penalty ourselves with Kieran Kalouf was pushed, so I haven't seen the rerun re of it. I don't know whether it was or not. They say on TV from behind the goal it was, it was, it was a push, but I haven't, I haven't seen it. But certainly, um, um, the overall I thought we played brilliantly on the night. I thought our uh, retention of the ball, some of the individual play, the individual skill levels, technical that was a passing move and was brilliant. And uh, I'm very proud of the players, but I'm just so disappointed that we to lose two nil is, 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 is um, extremely harsh on the night and one that we have to we have to uh, we have to take. Stephen, have you assessed the scale of the task you're now facing next week? I think we're I think we're really up against this. I think you know you know realistically we're, we're in a really difficult position with conceding two goals, two nil at home it means we've got to go and score three or at least win two nil in 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 Poland. I think we're where um, you know that second goal was in the ninety fourth plus minute was just hard the last kick of the game was just so difficult to stomach. Um, I think uh, 
you know, so we're, 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 we're presented with that we have that with but there's still only half time, and uh, we still we still will go with every intention of, uh, of 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 putting in a very strong performance away from home and and, um, and giving it giving it a real job. Stephen, you spoke to Andy about that moment, or tell you anything about it? What he experienced? Was and no, well, uh, it wasn't going in number one. Gary had it covered, and it was doubtful. It was actually on target with the shot. When you look back on the, thing, it's not only it's, it's on target, and um, the uh, Gary's Gary has it covered. It's the easiest save you would have to make. So, um, so it's just extremely harsh in that regard. There wasn't a lot of clear, really clear cut chances in the game. I think, um, I think, um, I was very happy with. Our attack and uh, at, you know, obviously Darrell Hogan and Patrick McAlenny were, were very influential attacking, in, in, you know, the attacking toward and you know some of the players, some of the good players were simply brilliant, simply brilliant, and um, they um, so very very I was very um, happy with that side of things. I thought we passed the ball brilliantly, obviously. Um, Neither team created that many clear cut chances. There was a, a much a few clear cut chances. We had some and we just, you know, some some reasonable half chances, but they, they managed to defend well, they just defend as well. They they gave defend as well. They uh, and one or two we just missed the target with you know, with our with our efforts. Steve, what do you say to the players and how how will you try and pick them up from this? Well, I think the game itself, next next week, gave six days, so plenty of time to digest it. And um, obviously, the initial the huge disappointment and, and uh, anger, really, anger. That uh, when the players seen the penalty back, they just couldn't believe. It. Just such a such a shocking decision, shocking. Um, but um, you know, I think. Uh, um, you know, that's six days away, so we just have to be a tough game for the whole. We know that it was always going to be a tough game regardless in Poland. So we just have to dust ourselves down and get ready for next week.